Those are a few ideas for ways to stick it to Typhon. You mortals seem to need an incentive, so I'll pay you Electrum for accomplishing each. And since I'm the god of merchandise, you can spend it right here on, you guessed it, merchandise. Ooh, creative. Or you could always just pay me your own Electrum. I thought the incentive was for me. I'm the god of financial gain. Oh man, Ubisoft. <laughs> Those prices. Wow. I'm also the god of thieves. We all have our vices. What's that underneath? It's a chore chart. Someone has to get Ares to clean up after himself. Ever tried to get blood out of a sea of blood? Now that is a feat. I don't know if you noticed, Ubisoft just described microtransactions within the uh, <laughs> ancient Greek mythology setting, I guess. Market for anything. <laughs> oh man, they are uh, being ironic towards themselves. I love it. We can change our appearance here if we want to. Oh, is this where the gods get their dental exams? No, it's where we rip off our skin to change our appearance. Yikes. Huh. Still better than visiting the dentist. Oh yeah, everything is better than the dentist. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Any case, let's keep exploring. Lots of things to find out here. What's this? Not sure. Hades had it delivered. Deposit an offering for the ferryman. An unexpected help could very well arrive. Be careful though. Argo broke the last gift from the underworld and look what happened to him. Who's Argo? Exactly. This is where you train? Oh, gods, no. What a waste of me time. Just cheat using Zeus's lightning to enhance your muscles and stamina. That's what I do. You're an inspiration. I get that a lot. Before I play a game, I do a lot of research, by the way, about the setting about the skills, things like that, so I kind of do know what I'm getting into. That's how I know. Ah, there's that wonderful smell again. Ambrosia is life. You want increased protection? Distill it here and drink up. Then enjoy the ride. One time, Athena downed that whole Kelex and destroyed the entire Greek fleet right after she had sided with them in battle. It was epic. Sorry, guess you just had to be there. Many of my relatives were. They died. And I told Athena not to do that. But did she listen? No. <sighs> nice. So what else can we look at? Oh, we can upgrade our guns here. Our weapons. Oh, is this Hephaestus' forge? You're cute. Try not to impale yourself on anything. But Phoenix wasn't listening. She was drawn to the forge by a hidden force, the Aramantine she'd gathered, calling out to be reshaped. Next up, we have uh, Cersei's something. We can upgrade potions here and mix potions as well. Nice cauldron! Phoenix let the empty compliment die in the ensuing silence and instead tried to focus on potential potion recipes. Phoenix stumbled upon a winged creature, easily mistaken for a fairy. However, its true identity would soon be revealed. So, what is it? Phoenix would need to free it to find out. Yeah, but you can tell me now. Can you please respect my narrative pacing? Yes, this is gonna be one important bird. As Phoenix freed the small creature imprisoned on the isle, she let out a cry. Which meant, great hero, I am but a piece of Nike, the goddess of victory. Please free the others, so I may return to my full glory. They won't win without Nike. She's like a glove or a, a thing you wear that protects you while running. A helmet. <laughs> oh, Zeus. 
reference to the famous shoe company there. Now we are way too high. There should be maybe a piece of ambrosia or something up here. Usually when you go... Yeah, there it is. See, when you go to high places, you get ambrosia. Valley of Eternal Spring. Its highlights include a massive tree that reaches up to the heavens. The Hall of the Gods. Eros's Palace. Oh, I'm glad he finally got his happy ending. And a palace belonging to the goddess of beauty herself. Yes, our kind of goddess Rambo. Aphrodite would claim the prime real estate with the best view. As long as she's safe from prying eyes, I'm happy. From such great heights, a fluttering of birds feeding from the most beautiful apple tree caught Phoenix's eye. Phoenix was about as high as I was when I thought marrying Aphrodite off to Hephaestus would stop the other gods from fighting over her. Yes, that view from Mount Olympus is something else. I haven't seen it in years. You're not getting that high again, so stop asking! The story is this, Hephaestus was born as a defect, so uh, Hera gifted him and Hera threw him off Olympus because she thought he, he wasn't worth it. Hephaestus found his way back to Olympus and uh, he was obviously angry with his mother for throwing him off. So Hera, to make up for her mistake, she gifted him um, Aphrodite. Aphrodite was obviously not impressed with that marriage and she kept sleeping with other men, most famously Ares, Hephaestus' own brother. Then Hephaestus went mad and he revealed uh, the cheating, his cheating wife to everybody. And... Uh, Thankfully, I think Poseidon or Zeus intervened and uh, stopped the whole massacre from happening. And there you have Aphrodite in her current form as a tree. You wouldn't happen to be Aphrodite? Why? Yes, I am. Pleasure to humbly make your acquaintance. Phoenix! Uh, sorry, I'm just such a fan. You're responsible for some of the most epic love stories of all time. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting a tree, but even in your, uh, arboreal state, you're beautiful. Oh, that's sweet of you to say, but the only mirror I gaze into these days reflects the happy smiles of the creatures I help. Oh, if only I could travel to those most in need. But, alas, my roots keep me anchored here. So that's why Typhon did this to you. So you can't use your beauty to move ships or inspire bravery in battle against him. Me? Start a war? I don't know where you get such outlandish ideas. True beauty is found in acts of service. True love is the giving of yourself to others. The name Aphrodite should have stood for those things all along. She did not just say that. I am reformed now. My old essence locked away in a vault wedged under my largest root, <laughs> which is for the best. Maybe I could get that essence back for you. I'm going to need allies to go up against Typhon. We have the hungry to think about. You said you need to free yourself from your roots. To feed the hungry, of course. Well, my roots were as a pretty bad farmer. So I know how to hurt plants. Salt. It shriveled them up. Oh, would that work? But of course my roots are not ordinary. They're primal. Powerful. So we'll need, a uh, mythical salt water? Oh! Oh! This is in the prophecy! 
a pearl in rough seas. You were a pearl born from rough seas. The salty sea foam from your birth. Yes, what an inspired proposal. But I couldn't possibly trouble a stranger to recreate the conditions of my birth. What if a stranger asked to be troubled? If a stranger asked to be troubled, then I suppose I wouldn't really be troubling them at all. Here's how to conjure sea foam from my birthplace. I already know all about this. Mom loved this story. Grandpappy Uranus threw a pearl into the sea. The sea churned into foam, and Aphrodite rose up out of it. A pearl? Grandpappy? I'm not sure that's how it... That's definitely the story. Okay. I'm sure that's how it went uh, down. Got it. Knock a pearl into the ocean really hard. That sounds simple enough. Oh, thank you, Phoenix. I'll be serving fresh apples to the less fortunate across the Golden Isle in no time. Well, this is weirder than the time Demeter turned that kid into a lizard. Aphrodite? Sweet and charitable? No more mischief? Isn't that what you were aiming for when you married her off to Hephaestus against her will? Hey now, it wasn't. I mean, she knew I was doing it for her own good. No, grab it, come on. locked all the Cyclopes away with the other Titans, huh? Yes. He was afraid they'd overthrow him. There was a prophecy. Bored. Grandpappy made the right call. Those things are an eyesore. <laughs> Get it? Uh. <laughs> oh, Zeus. Why do we need to move this? Of Aphrodite is a gruesome tale. Nothing gruesome about it. Grandpappy Uranus and my deadbeat dad, Kronos, had a battle so great, it severed heaven from Earth. Oh man, we that cannot pull this. That was severed. During his surprise attack, Kronos descended on Uranus. When Earth was severed from heaven, there was a great earthquake that knocked a pearl loose from its oyster. Hang on, there was no... <laughs> the pearl flew from its oyster on land, and Uranus caught it and flung it out to sea with such a force that it caused the frothy foam to bubble. <sighs> From the sea foam, Aphrodite rose, full grown, beautiful as that same pearl. I can't take this anymore. Zeus, Gaia lied to you about how Aphrodite was born. Oh, yeah? Then tell me how it really happened. And Kronos, they fought. You can't be serious. <laughs> Fell into the sea. That's... Because Kronos cut off his... <laughs> You're sick, Prometheus. Do not talk to me! <laughs> With the sea foam secure, ah. Phoenix resolved to return to Aphrodite with the key to her freedom and the vault. Multiplayer games? I don't know, not my cup of tea. The games are kind of lower in quality. I don't know, there's uh, some very toxic communities behind online games, actually. It's very sad. You sweet creature. <gasps> Do you have the sea foam? Right here. Oh, aren't you good? Please, take my blessing for all your hard work. Now quick, pour the foam on my roots. The sooner I can move, the sooner I can expand my apple care. <laughs> apple work? care.
Nice. Coming out of the foam, I was so <gasps> fabulous. No, there's too many cuddly creatures that need my help. It keeps me awake at night, just seeing their little beaks and bright eyes and those noses, those quivering wet noses. <gasps> Uh oh. Oh, now we have to fight the wraith. Oh, damn it, it is. Oh, man. Bye now. <laughs> and so we discover the Wraith Layer. If we go to the Wraith Layer, there we can actually defeat these uh, Wraiths for good. Like if we defeat, if we go to the array, uh, the Layer of Achilles, and we defeat him, he will never appear again in the game. <laughs> Let's go back to Aphrodite. What just happened? Typhon must not like you, though I couldn't possibly imagine why. Whenever anyone defies him, he sends one of his raids. And that raid delegates responsibility, as raids tend to do, to shades. So the warrior that just appeared wasn't really Achilles? Goodness, no! The true Achilles is far more dashing. Oh, you're telling me. He's hiding in a lair nearby. Until he's defeated, his shades will reappear on this part of the island. Is there ever any good news? Well, the sea foam worked and uh, I'm able to move my roots. One of them was actually blocking Achilles' leg. I can't help but the other three raids, though. Heracles, Atalanta and Odysseus. Oh, you know what they say. Bad things come in fours. Nobody. No that. No one says that. Ah, no one says that. <laughs> what about the root blocking your essence? It's just that some people I care about have been turned into stone. So I'm quite keen to... Nope. No. Nope. Uh, for some reason, that root is still firmly in place. Uh, thank you for your concern. But what matters is I can start delivering apples. All the animals will be fed in no time. Let's get to it. Thank you kindly for all your help. Many happy returns. But I... That was strange. I can't keep standing idly by. Sorry, I mean busily preparing anymore. You have to bring Aphrodite back to her beautiful snarky self before I go crazy. By the gods, where did you come from? Behind you? Does it matter? Don't worry about me. Focus on finding another way to shrivel that root. So what? Saltier, more mythical water? Actually, wait. What about Aphrodite's tears? Didn't she cry at the death of Adonis? They'd be salty and powerful. You really know your stories, kid. Her tears just might work. If you put them directly on the root, blocking off her essence. Now, where did Typhon hide them? You should search the vaults of Tartarus nearby. There are three crystallized tears. All right. We have a plan, then. Please hurry. Until Aphrodite is back to herself, who will I talk to about whatever this is that you're wearing? What's wrong with what I'm wearing? And he's gone. Oh, Hermes, the god of gossip as well. <laughs> From pain comes beauty. And a new quest, the real heal. Right, so this is Aphrodite's quest line. We have to gather the three tears and her essence in order to free her. Ah, we'll find about this later. Now, let's go grab the bird. The bird is the word. Ah, 
And this will be a game changer. You'll see. Hey there. You're in bad shape. Too proud to quit, huh? Well, so am I. Phoenix! Stay away from that thing! What are you doing here? I saw the lightning strike. Naturally, I came right away to finish the job. Easy kills are a specialty of mine. Why am I not surprised? Well, I'm saving the bird, and I won't take no for an answer. No, it's a creature of Typhon. Wait, I'm having a vision. You're going to say, but it needs our help. Then I'll say, it's just waiting to kill us as soon as it has the chance. Then you'll say, Hermes, please, don't make me blackmail you. I'll tell Hera what you did. Then I'll say, you wouldn't. But I know deep down you would, so I agree to help you. All the while, looking for an opportunity, as soon as you let your guard down, to strike. You talk too much. Well, you got me cornered, kid. For now. Since Typhon brought that thing out of Tartarus, you'll need food from down there to revive it. The same food Hades fed to Persephone. Seeds of the dead. I only know of one on the island. Then I'm going to get that seed. Sit tight. Me or the bird? Because I don't think that thing can sit. Now we are very, very close right now. Less than 50 meters. Where is that thing? Oh, there it is. Grab it. Yes, seed of the dead. Now. Now I'm guessing we just go back to the bird. I feel it's way too hard to traverse the map otherwise. Hey, proud guy. I've got the... seed. I'm sorry, kid. Come on, we'll go get some drumsticks. They're on me. Oh, well, that makes things easy. We got the drumsticks right here. Yes, my bird. Come to me. Woohoo! You're alive! <laughs> hey there, proud fellow. Kind of a stuck up rare breed Typhon lit on fire, huh? If you please, Your Excellency. <laughs> I'm going to name him Phosphor. After Phosphorus, the morning star. Phospho says that he's still weak and needs to regain more strength. He'd like to offer to help you on your journey to repay the debt for saving his life. He, uh, <clears throat> also loves the new nickname. Like, really loves it. Don't you, Phospho? I told you this was the right decision. Helping an evil undead bird? Brilliant. I take it all back. You were totally on the money. That beautiful bird is offering to take us to Daedalus's secret treasure room. No way! The genius inventor who built this island! The one and only. He says there's a pile of Electrum with my name on it. <laughs> oh, yes. There's also a second seed of the dead that can make Phospho stronger than ever. Would you look at that? Doing good deeds results in good deeds in return. Who would have thought? Is that a trick question? Because the answer is clearly no one. So, there are two clues that lead to this treasure room we need to find. And by we, I mean you. One is near the Dracon Bones, the second is near the Aqueduct. Isn't that right, Phospho? <laughs> I told you he adores his new nickname, right? 